get it one. Be using that here. Now, there are plenty of reviews of the Microsoft Pro Service 6, and I thought I might do something a little bit different. Now, if you're a follower of my channel, you'll notice that I've actually been doing this lately. I've been actually revisiting some of the laptops I have reviewed, and I've actually been looking particularly at the screen itself for these laptops. Now, I've got two color hardware calibrators with me. I've got the XRI1 display, and I've also got my trusty Spider 3 Pro. Now, I'm actually going to look at the luminance or the brightness of the screen and also how well they are color calibrated. So let's dive into it. We're going to test out the luminance or the brightness of the screen. Now, the measurement that we need to take note of is this one here called current. It is measured in candela per square meter and one candela per square meter equals one nit of brightness. So 100 candela per square meter is 100 nit of brightness. Now this measure is directly coming directly from this x i1 display and it is measured from this white point here. So before we get started, I also want to make sure that you actually know is that I've actually just gone to the display here of the screen to make sure we've actually unticked this setting here which actually automatically changes the brightness of the screen depending on lighting changes. So that's the ambient light that's talking about. So I've just unticked that one there. Increments, I'm just gonna put a mouse cursor here. So at the moment, there are 10 increments to the brightness of the screen. We're gonna go through each one so you can actually see how bright each setting is. So at the moment, I've got about midpoint. I'm gonna bring it down to the lowest setting it has. And at the moment, you'll, you won't be able to see on your the screen but it is currently reading at 4.6 candela per square meter so that's four nit of brightness so i'm going to bring up to increment number one now it is sitting at 21 candela per square meter increment number two it is 43 candela per square meter increment number three you're looking at 65 candela per square meter increment number four is 87 candela per square meter. Increment number five, which is halfway point, 110 candela per square meter. Increment number six is 160 candela per square meter. Increment number seven is 205 candela per square meter. Increment number eight is 271 candela per square meter. Increment number nine is 355 candela per square meter. Increment number 10, which is at its maximum brightness, is 438 candela per square meter. So the maximum brightness of this screen here is 438 nits of brightness. So for the photographers and photographers, it is ideally to hit the target about 100 to 120 nits of brightness. I'm going to help you find where that point is. So this current should be about anywhere between 100 to 120. So one, two, three, four, five. At five we're at 110, which is back in the middle, which is per is most ideal situation. Going to number six, we're already hitting 160, which is a bit too far. So we're looking at halfway point, which is dead in the middle, which is fantastic, so it's really easy to find. So if you're photo editing or doing video editing, you're looking at increment number five, which is halfway point, is where you ideally want your brightness set at. Now I'm just gonna say, if this measurement actually comes off the ambient light, but this is actually coming directly from the screen itself. So I'm going to turn down the ambient light off this here, and hopefully that measurement shouldn't change too much. So at the moment, I'm just bringing down my setting of my light, and at the moment, that is at its lowest. So it's sitting at about 110, which is what it should be. I'm even gonna turn off my ambient light completely, and it's still sitting at 110, which is great. So I'm gonna bring my ambient light, turn it back on, and I'm gonna bring it to its maximum setting here. And at the moment, you will see it's still sitting at 110, which is fantastic. So it's actually not bringing anything here. And if I actually just move this off, you'll see that measurement comes off. It is actually measuring directly from the screen itself. Now, as you find this useful, give me a like. And I'd love to hear your comment below as well about this, if this was actually very useful for you. Now we're color calibrating the screen with the Spider 3 Pro. So the Spider 3 Pro has finished its calibration. Now, this is what the screen looks like and the colors looks like 
that's come out of factory and I'm going to switch to after calibration. So this is after it's calibrated. So you can definitely see for myself, I can see it's actually gone a lot more warmer and it's gone a little bit cooler because of this, especially in the black and white area. So this is out of factory, after calibration. Before calibration, after calibration. Like I said, I can definitely see it's warmed up a lot more after the calibration and it's gone a little bit more cooler. It's more easy to find in the actual black and white ones as well. And you'll find down this one here. Now I do like to use the Spider Free Pro because it gives you a nice little overview of the different color changes in the software itself. I tested out the color gamut coverage of the screen. Now with Adobe RGB, it managed to get 62.7% coverage. And with the sRGB, you're looking at 87.9% coverage of the screen. As an added bonus, I'm going to share this color profile with you guys that I created using this x i1 display. Now, be wary, it is running off my ambient light, but at least this gives you a very good starting point. Now, I'll put the link in the description below so you can actually download that color profile. But if you do work with colors professionally, I do advise you to get your own hard where color calibrated yourself. They're definitely worth their money. And I do know that the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 is coming out and I will create another video for the screen when I do get my hands on that unit. And I'll put a link in the description below or you'll see a little pop up here as well for that version for Surface 7. Now, if you enjoy this video, find me fun with give it a like and of course please share this video as well and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on bottom right corner of the screen i do try to upload a new video every tuesdays and fridays and just remember imperfections and life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video